Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Landell. Welcome to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD for the Wii U. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're playing Zelda. Uh, yes, we're playing on the Wii U gamepad. And we're going to be doing the second adventure because... Oh, I have to type my name on the... What should my name be? Oh, I got it, I got it. My... Yes. That's the best name ever. Okay, we're going to go hero mode. And here mode to take double. Yes, I know! But yeah, we're gonna be playing in hero mode. And this is the second quest, so Link is gonna be wearing his pajamas the whole time, which is cool. I think that that's cool, and you'll think it's cool too. But anyway, I'm gonna shut up because this beginning part is amazing, and it works best if you don't hear what I'm. if I don't talk, so. Such a cool opening, bro. Okay, I gotta turn down <laughs> my volume. I didn't know that the volume on my TV was turned up. Outset Island. Wow, look how pretty! It's an HD! So cool. Oi! Yeah, I like the music. Oi! 
They actually redid a lot of music for the HD version to make it more orchestrated, so... Sounds nice. Hey, there we are. My dude. Big brother. Oh crap, she fell off the ladder. I knew you'd be here. <laughs> this is my favorite spot to gaze out at the sea. When I play with the goals, I call it Ariel's Lookout. So, do you remember what day it is today? You're still half asleep, aren't you? Did you forget? Big brother, it's your birthday! I love his face. That's why Grandma has been waiting for you to come back to the house. She's been waiting for a while now. It's a good thing I came to find you. You should probably go home and see what Grandma wants, don't you think? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, we're playing Zelda again! Ow. Okay, there's a slight audio delay. But it's not too bad. That's how I could tell that it was playing through my TV through my headphones, because I was like, why is it playing the sound before it even happens in my headphones? Because it's playing on the TV. Hoya! Yes, look at this. So we're getting money. Okay, don't run off the edge like a dog. So yeah, we're still kind of following after Inchar Uncharted. We're following the theme of pirates and stuff. Except this time we're actually going to be sailing the seven seas. Yeah. Okay, before we go see Grandma, we're going to go under here. Yeah. Isn't that that little crawl sound? So cool. We're gonna see what grandma's hiding at the bottom of the house. What? Yep. Whoa, money! But yeah, that little legend at the beginning was talking about the hero of time from Ocarina of Time. Because after he goes back to the past, he uh leaves. He goes and he does his own thing. Which, they try to tie the games together, but it doesn't really work out. Like, based on what the timeline has set up, like the Zelda timeline on the Zelda wiki or whatever, it's a lot different from what actually happens in the games. It doesn't make sense. The timeline doesn't make any freaking sense. I've been waiting for you, my dude. Here you are, my dude. Try these on. These are special clothes made of a special fabric that only the honest can see. Time certainly flies. I can't believe you're already old enough to wear these clothes. You got the hero's new clothes. What the? Wow, they're really light. Oh yeah, this is the part where you'd put on the green tunic, but because it's the new adventure, he's gonna be in the pajamas. What's the matter? Why the long face? You can see them, can't you? <laughs> Well, today is the day we commemorate the fact that you've reached the same age as the Hero of Legends. You have to be proud of that for at least one day. Put them on and see if you can't fool anybody in town. In the olden days, this was the days this was the day boys were finally considered to be men. They were taught the ways of the sword to prepare them for battle when with their elements. Enemies, frick man. But we don't live in such an age any longer. Our ways are the ways of peace. Nowadays, I suppose Orca is the only one on the island who still knows anything about swordplay. Hanging the family shield on the wall as decoration is another tradition that has been carried down from those days. Does this all make sense to you? Isn't that nice, my dude? They suit you perfectly. A perfect fit. Well, tonight I'm going to invite the whole town over for your birthday party, so I'd better start getting ready, shouldn't I? Your grandma is going to make your favorite soup for you tonight. Mmm. I just know you're looking forward to it. Now go get your sister Ariel. 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 Whatever the freak. I'm going to say Ariel, because it's cooler. Wah! 
But yeah, I always like the pajama look a little bit better than the green tunic. Although sometimes it's nice to go back and play with the green tunic. Uh, shut up! I'm not gonna Z target just to talk to you. That's so stupid. Oh, wait, there's actually something we can do over here. I know I'm kind of stalling, but we gotta capture the pig. Aha! I love the little oinks. Hi! Yeah, we give her a pig and she'll give us some money. Give me the money! Yes. Uh, for the very late game, you're gonna need a lot of rupees, so that's kind of why I'm trying to stock up early. Also, you can get a faster sale, which makes you sail faster. And I need to be able to win that in an auction, so I need a lot of money. Get away from me with your snot, you freaking little kid! I can still hear him chasing me, freaking loser. Just blow your nose! Blow your freaking nose! Ah, the music is so nice. So happy and bubbly and makes me think of happy things. Like ramen noodles. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to bring that back. I love freaking ramen noodles. What can I say? Ah, big brother. Ahoy! Did grandma make that outfit for you? You always wear the same outfit. I think you need a new look. Shut up, Ariel. I guess they're pretty neat, though. So anyway, my dude, can you close your eyes and hold out your hand? Just for a second. I'm going to give you my most treasured belonging, but just for one day. Happy birthday! Yeah, we got a telescope. This is your sister's most precious belonging. Treasure it dearly. So, well, do you like it? I'm letting you borrow this special gift just because you're my big brother. Aren't you lucky? Hee <laughs> hee! Oh, why don't you try it out right now? Try looking over to our house from here. Okay, I'm gonna use the gamepad to uh, drag it onto the screen. Oh, I gotta zoom in with this. Hey, look, that's a Rito. That postman looks kind of weird, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's freaking out. What? Look up in the sky. Ah, oh, motion controls. Whoa! It's a big bird. <gasps> Pirates! in the beak. Aw, oh, crud. My dude, this is so terrible! That girl fell in the forest! She needs help! But it's too dangerous for you to go in without something you can use to defend yourself with. Oh, you tell me I need a sword? We are... Ah! Feels good. Yeah, the little seagulls on the telescope... When this game first came out on the GameCube, I thought that that was just like... The paint was getting ripped off from the telescope. I don't know, man. I was a weird kid. I didn't even know how to read when this game first came out. <laughs> okay, that's a lot. But I do remember when we first got this game for Christmas in 2004? Or 5, I don't remember. My dad played this game for like an entire day and it made him sick. This is the last time I remember my dad playing video games. Oh, what is the matter, my dude? You have an urgent look about you. Has something happened? Whatever it is from the look on your face, I suspect it is no laughing matter. What say you, my dude? Ah, uh, have you come for some serious instruction in the way of the sword? Yes, sir. Oh. Look at that little tiny sword. Very good! Your first shall be horizontal slice! Face me! Hiya! Good! Keep coming at me until you hear me say very good! Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, 
Very good. Next is the vertical slice. I like the little sounds. Keep swinging. Yes, very good. Next is the thrust. Okay, we gotta back up a little bit because I always mess this up. Hey, very good. Keep thrusting. Oh crap! Sorry. Let me do it again. Yes. Next is a spin attack. Okay. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, there's so much. Look how crazy this is. Next is harder. The parry attack. Okay. Parry time. Oh yeah. Ah oh, yes. Very good. Are we doing it again? Oh yeah. I love it. Now the jump attack. We all know this thing. We've done it before. That was a fine display. And yet, I sense a certain anxiousness in the sword you hold. An eagerness that goes far beyond the mere desire to, wield, to be wielded in the fields of battle. I do not know what has happened. But I have faith in you. Somehow, I doubt you will misuse that sword. You may have it, my dude. I give it freely. Take the blade with you. You accepted the hero sword. Yes, it's more like a butter knife, but it'll do. Be strong, my dude. Oh my gosh, my dude is the best name ever given. Now everybody thinks I have swagger. All right, we got our sword. Cool. We got our butter knife. This game is so cool, like, it has so much character. Like, everything about it, like, the little facial expressions on Link. Look at him get all mad, look at him whistling as he runs. Oh gosh! Okay, sorry. I'm glad you did an idiot. But yeah, I forgot you have a little meter on how long you can swim. Because otherwise, you would just swim the entire seas. The entire great sea, you wouldn't even sail. Oh yeah, and rolling is like a little bit of a dash, so I'm gonna be constantly doing that throughout this entire game. We all cut the grass. Why is there even grass here? Who knows? Oh yeah, that's the other thing about this game. The higher you get, the more the music fades out. It's kind of atmospheric. I like it. Man, we are really high up. Look at that. Don't jump off the edge like a dope. Gotta remember that I take double damage. Ooh, cool, we're in the, the summit. The forest, the summit forest. Okay, I know there's money in here, so we're gonna go in here. Yes, yes, get the money. <gasps> it's a bokoblin! Oops. Come on. Let's clap his cheeks! Yeah. Spin attack! How's it taste? Yes, give me the money. Okay. Oh. So freaking dusty up here. <laughs> now what? Oh gosh. It's an ambush. Spin attack. Okay, it's not worth it. There we go. Cool, we killed him. Ouch. Right in the butthole. Ouch! Wow, what's with the getup? Oh, whatever. Where am I? Oh, that's right. That giant bird came and... Oh. Miss, Miss Tetra! Oh, oh, thank goodness you're safe. When I saw you get dropped on the summit, I thought for sure you'd... Summit? 
So that bird dropped me on top of a mountain? Well, that wasn't very nice of it. Well, don't just stand there. Let's go. Time to repay our debt to that bird in full. Uh, but, miss, what about this boy? Don't worry about him. Come on. Hey, man, I just saved your life. Come on. Show some gratitude. Hi. Ahoy, big brother! Man, she just got seagulls following her all the time. The seagull whisperer. <laughs> oh, crap. Stupid kid! Get a hold of yourself! She's gone! There's nothing you can do! No, our sister. What? You want to come with us on our ship? <laughs> yep. Do you understand what you're asking? We're pirates! You know, pirates! The terror of the seas! What do we get out of bringing some helpless little kid along with us? I'll tell you what we get. A headache. I know how you must feel with your sister having been kidnapped and all. But that doesn't really have anything to do with us now, does it? And how do you figure that? Whoa, whoa, whoa there. Just who are you? What do you get out of butting in on someone else's conversation? Please, all I mean to say is that if... You big, bad pirates hadn't come to this quiet little island. That poor girl wouldn't have been snatched away by that bird. And just what you mean by that? Just be quiet for a moment and I'll tell you. Now, as my work entails delivering letters, I spend much of my time traveling amongst the many different islands. As a result, I hear many things. Haven't you heard a word of that young girls have been getting kidnapped lately from all regions of the Great Sea? No matter. Whether you've heard it or not, that seems to be the case. Young girls with long ears like yours have been getting kidnapped, never to be seen again. And unless my eyes fail me, that young girl who was just kidnapped from this island also has long ears, does she not? Much like you do, Miss Fearsome Pirate. My point is, that bird must have mistaken you for that poor girl. I totally butchered that. And that's why it grabbed her. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe... It it was young my dude here who saved you from the monster in the forest, wasn't it? Is this true? Oh, and while I'm at it, I may as well tell you that that bird that kidnapped both you and my dude's sister has been... has made its foul nest to the north of the, the heights of the Forsaken Fortress. The Forsaken Fortress? Isn't that the place where... So, what are you gonna do? Under the circumstances, I don't think it would be unreasonable for you to give my dude a little help, now would it? Hm. I don't need you to tell me that. Even if I were to consider it, lately I've heard nothing but evil rumors about this forsaken fortress. You can't possibly mean to go there with nothing but a cheap little sword. That's not brave, it's stupid. I mean, come on. Even a simple little island like this has to have something you could use as a shield. You know, something to protect yourself with? Anything? Tell you what. If you come back with something like that, I'll let you stow away on our ship. Oh, and one more thing. Once we leave, you won't be coming back here for a while, so you better go and say goodbye to your family while you still have a chance. I don't want you getting all weepy-eyed and homesick on me. Okay, all of that reading, butchering aside, we have to get something from here. Can you see our good friend Beetle? Oh, a customer! Welcome to Beetle's shop ship! I deal in pretty much anything and everything! Do you have anything you don't need? If you do, show it to me! I'll pay top rupees for your junk! Or do you see something you'd like to buy? Yes, I like this. The bait bag. Thank you! And I also want to buy the bait. So, okay, stop talking! Let me buy more stuff! by the bait. 
Okay, we don't need that much, so we'll go now. Bye! I freaking love Beetle, though. He's awesome. Alright, now we're gonna go get our shield from Grandma. Uh, no, I don't want to talk to you! What is it, my dude? Please, tell Grandma what's troubling you. And where's Ariel? Is she still playing outside with the gulls? what you're looking for take it with you now is not the time to do that link come on then. i guess it is true ariel really has been kidnapped hasn't she what kind of monster could take such a sweet young child Don't worry, Grandma. I'll get her back. I promise. Okay, side music gone. Well, I just jumped over that chick. All right, time to sail to sea. Ahoy. Shut up. Just let's go. My dude! Good luck finding Ariel! Take care of yourself! Oh man, I'm getting emotional. longer do you think this is going on do you think do you have an estimate are you sure you should just quit right now seriously think about it i can tell you're just gonna get more sentimental from here on out there's still time you know are you sure we shouldn't just turn around and take you back to your island We're on a pirate ship! Cool, this is awesome. I like this a lot. I was getting all emotional during that cutscene. I love this game so much, man. This is the first Zelda game that I've ever beaten, by the way. I guess I should just clarify that. That's only because it's super easy. Oh, well now, ahoy there, Swabby. As of today, ahem, I am your superior, Nico. Now, I promise I will go easy on you, so don't- so do as I say, okay? Right. Now, first off, you have to take the test all new pirates have to take. It's a bit of a doozy, so get ready. You watch everything I'm about to show you real careful like, so you can cram it into your no-doubt mushy squabby brain. It's a bad voice for him to say right now. First off, you gotta put us the switch. This is the only easy part. Just walk up to it. Okay. I get it. Breaking the fourth wall with your gameplay stuff. Now, check it out. After the platforms rise up from the floor, you gotta jump on them. Nice. Okay, so I was able to jump to this first one myself, but the next one is too far, right? That's when you gotta do this. Okay, he's teaching us how to do game. How to game. 
So, do you think you get how to do it? You have to swing from platform to platform and try to get to the entrance on that room over there. Here's the problem though, Swabby. The platforms only stay raised for a little while, so if you don't get there by the time they drop, you have to start over. Ta! It'll probably take you at least one year before you're good enough to make it all the way here. One rough year. One tough year. Full of bumps and bruises. Of course, if you manage to do it faster, I'll reward you. Now give it a try. There's not to be a good chuckle for the two or two. Okay, this that was a bad uh, Irish uh, yep. pirate accent. I apologize to all people Irish. Ta! Oh gosh, I thought I missed it for a second. I was just making fun of him. Hey yeah. Cool. Hop. Okay, then we just need to. Hop. Oh. What? You did it already? I, I, I'm, I'm proud of you as, as my underling. I wonder if it's okay to just give that to him. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll get busted. All right, Swabby, I'll tell you what. You could have the treasure in that chest over there. It's your reward from the great and generous Nico. Hurry and take it before someone comes. Ahoy! Ouch. Oh, it's our first big thing. Well, apart from the telescope and the sword and the shield and the... Hey, the spoiled bag! Okay. <laughs> hey, my dude! We've reached the Forsaken Fortress. Hurry up and get here. Oh my gosh, I have so much energy right now. I'm so excited to be playing Zelda. I got to calm down before I lose my voice or something. It already feels like that's what's happening. Ah, excuse me! Whoa, it's nighttime. Come on! Hey, my dude! Here I am, up here! Okay. Climb the ladder. Oh, there it is. See the bird over there? Heck and heck, man. What were you doing with Nico? Don't tell me you're playing some stupid game for treasure. Where are you? <sighs> well, whatever. There's something you need to see. Have a look over there. That's the cursed isle known as the Forsaken Fortress. There are all sorts of strange rumors about this place. What I do know is that it, long ago it used to be a hideout for the no good group of pirates that used to, we used to compete with. But they were just small time. Now the place looks like it's pretty dangerous. Ah, I knew it. Look, over there. By the window. Have you ever seen so many seagulls flock like that before? I'll bet you anything that's the place where they got your sister locked up. But it looks like the whole place is under really tight guard. Ah, this won't work. We'd be spotted before we got anywhere near landing there. Hmm, what do we do now? Uh-oh, Leafy's here. <laughs> Bro... Look, don't struggle. If you really want to get into a dangerous place like that, this is the only way to do it. Trust me. We pirates do this all the time. Don't worry about it. It'll be a piece of cake. Is everybody ready? Never you fear, kid. We're pros. We're gonna launch you good. Three. Two. One. My sword! <laughs> uh, 
Ah, great. Forsaken Fortress. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your sword landed all the way up there? Shoot, I'm sorry. I apologize. I guess my aim was off by a little bit. <laughs> the look on your face. Priceless. I slipped a stone into your pocket just before we fired you over there. It's no ordinary stone either. I can see what you're doing through this stone, and obviously you can hear me through it, so if you use A, you better press that button. Alright. Let's just get going. Okay, we can't be spotted by these lights because we don't have a sword and we can't defend ourselves. So we gotta do a little bit of stealthiness. But first we gotta go up and take out some of the guys that are manning these big spotlights. Okay, that one on that side. I don't remember how to get to that one, but we need to take him out. Shut up! I don't want to talk to you! Jeez. Okay. I gotta beat him up with these sticks. Maybe we could throw the pot at him though. Wait, no, th crap, I missed! Hoya! Yeah. Come on, eat it! Yeah! Stop running away from me! Ow, oh, crap! Hoya! Yeah. Freaking heck! Yes! Okay. Oh, joy pendant! This pickup is very useful for the later game, so we gotta pick up as many of those as we possibly can. But it doesn't always drop them, which kind of stinks! Okay, I think I gotta go through the door on the right to get this guy. Right, can I go this way? No, I can't. Crap! Dude, it's so cool to be playing Zelda again, man. I can't express that enough. Especially Wind Waker. I love Wind Waker so much, man. This game is very easy, though, so... Which I, I said that already, I think. But yeah, it's a very easy game. Not really that much of a challenge to it. Even with Hero Mode enabled. Although, I might regret saying that later. Might get my butt kicked. Ah, yes. Link, climb the ladder! My dude! Climb the ladder! Holy freaking crap! Can you just... There we go. Finally! Jeez Louise. And also, when I was editing my Uncharted video, the last one, I noticed that Jeez Louise has kind of become my new catchphrase. Have a pot! Have a stick! Have a stick! Have another stick! Yeah, get sniped by a freaking stick, bro. Okay, uh, where am I going now? So the lights on that have been removed. So, if I look at the map on my gamepad. Cool. It's very funny that I'm playing this game because off camera I played. Sea of Thieves with my friend Vex, and then I was playing Uncharted, and now I'm playing this, so like the theme of pirates and sailing is just... <laughs> That's just my life right now. And I will admit, playing Uncharted and Sea of Thieves is what inspired me to play this game. Because I was going to play Majora's Mask as the next Zelda game. But then after how long Uncharted went on for, I was just like, man, I want to play an easier game. And Majora's Mask is stressful, man. If you guys have played it, then you'll know what I'm talking about. But it basically just... You're stuck in a time loop, a three-day time loop, and you have to operate off of that three-day time loop. And it requires a lot of planning. And I have the hiccups, by the way. A lot of planning and a lot of 
a lot of pro gamer moves. So. Alright, this is probably the worst part of the stealth. Gotta use that little... The little barrel. And not get caught by these guys. Or hit by the freaking mice, dude. <laughs> hey, we did it. Easy peasy. It's a lot harder to stealth around them if you go around the other way. That's why I went to the left. If that makes any sense. This whole map is basically a giant circle. If you run around it clockwise, you have an easier time stealthing that one part. And if you get caught, it's a lot harder to... <laughs> well, you have to escape the prison cell and then whatnot. But I have never been caught in my life playing this game. Just kidding, that's not true. I've been caught multiple times. Look at that freaking dude with his big freaking nose and his jiggly lips. Okay, we just gotta stay very still. Very, very still. Okay, we can't move yet. We have to wait for him to go to the right, I think. Be very, very quiet and sneaky. All right. What a freaking loser. He doesn't even know. We're about to get our sword back, by the way. <laughs> Look at his face, dude. He's so cute. They definitely made this part, this mechanic for this one part. Actually, that's not true. It is utilized. Utilized? Am I freaking... What's going on? I'm pronouncing my T's. It is utilized later on, but... I don't know. It just feels very gimmicky to me. But yeah, that's why we took out the, uh, the lights, because if they were still on, they would catch us trying to go across the thing, and we would be thrown in jail. And that would suck! <laughs> He's so cute! My dude, grab the sword! Show me what you got. Wow. Oh, I love the music. Come on, show me what you got. Jump attack! I also like the little, like, crescendos that happen when you hit them. It makes every hit feel more satisfying. Made it this far. What could possibly go wrong? It's a freaking bird, man. Now we're marooned. We're lost at sea.
I don't know how he didn't drown. I mean, I guess your body would naturally float, right? I don't know. Hey. My dude. My dude. Wake up, my dude. Hey. Pull yourself together, my dude. Well, have you come to your senses yet? You are surprisingly dull-witted. Did I startle you? I suppose that is only natural. As wide as the world is, I am the only boat upon it who can speak the words of men. I am the king of red lions. Do not fear, I am not your enemy. My dude. I have been watching you since you went to the Forsaken Fortress to rescue your sister. I understand how you desire to protect your sister could give you the courage to fearlessly stand up to anything. But such a bold attempt was foolhardy! I suppose you saw him. The shadow that commands the monstrous bird. His name is... Ganon. He who obtained the power of the gods attempted to cover the land in darkness and was ultimately sealed away by the very power he hoped to command. He is the very same Ganon, the emperor of the Dark Realm, the ancient legends speak of. I do not know why the seal of the gods has failed, but now that Ganon has returned, the world is once again being threatened by his evil magic. Tell me, my dude, do you still wish to save your sister from him? And will you do anything to save her? I see. In that case, I shall guide you as we go forward, advising you on what, what you should do and where you must go. Ganon cannot be defeated by human hands, let alone by what little strength you possess. Hey, that's rude. The key to defeating Ganon is locked away in a great, in a great power that you can wield only after much toil and hardship. Do you understand? In that case, we depart to the Great Sea. Ah, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. This is actually a bit embarrassing for me to admit, but although I am indeed a boat that possesses the power of speech, I possess no sail. And a boat with no sail can no sail no seas. I have brought you far to the east of the dark gaze of the Forsaken Fortress. On this island is a town of merchants who deal in wide variety of goods. If you search hard enough, surely you can find one who will sell you a sail. I am sorry to ask this of you, but without a sail, I will be useless to you. This island of merchants is home to many valuable goods. The information they provide you may come in handy during your endeavors at sea, so listen carefully to their words and heed them well. But remember, there is no time to play. Come back here immediately as soon as your errands are done. All right, we are going to leave that episode here. Man, it is great to be playing Zelda again, I gotta say. Uh, next time, we are going to get a sail for our boat, and we are going to uh, go over to Dragon Roost Island. So take care, and I'll see you guys next time.